Nate Terracio. I'm the director of the Coger Center for the Arts. So this is our upstairs gallery. Uh, this room has been here and underutilized since the very opening of the building. Uh, and when I started working here in 2016, there were a handful of pieces of art on the wall and I walked in and thought with the windows and the natural light, this would make a fantastic space for a gallery. We are very much the Coker Center for the Arts, so our goal is to support the arts across the board, not just the performing arts, but the visual arts as well. This is open to the general public, where uh, the building is open uh, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, particularly during the summer, this room is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. During the school year, we tend to have some classes in the building, so we tell people stop by between 2 and 5 uh, on a weekday. But the big thing is, is that it is almost always open uh, when we have a performance. Keith Tolan uh, has been somebody that we've had our eye on. Uh, he's a local artist and I've always been a uh, super big fan of his work. So we reached out to him and said, would you be interested in doing something? And really this whole exhibit is his idea. Um, he said, let's, let's do something that's not just me. And I think that this is really an example of what the spirit of the Coger Center is and really the spirit of the community, uh, arts community here in Columbia, which is uh, anytime there is an opportunity, people turn to you and say, how can we help other people take advantage of this opportunity? Uh, my name is Keith uh, Tolan. Uh, I'm a retired public school teacher. I taught uh, middle school art, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. In this room, uh, the Kroger Center has really allowed us to put together an exhibition of the work of five local artists, and we feel very fortunate to, to be a part of this, and we again thank the, the Kroger Center and the University of South Carolina for making this possible because um, there are many local artists in the middle. And so we feel that we have, in a sense, won the lottery because we have a chance to share with an audience uh, what we do. So even though I'm retired, I do spend a little time doing things that I enjoy, and one of them is creating art. And the title of this exhibition is The Beat of the Heart. And the beat of the heart is something that in most cases we take for granted unless for some reason our heart beats irregularly or, or stops. We take it for granted that our heart is going to beat. But the one thing that the heartbeat does is it provides life for the body. And so in many ways, we take art for granted. If art's not there, well, we have a void. And in many ways, we miss it. Uh, and uh, the truth of the matter is art is everywhere. Art is in the clothing that we choose to put on because we don't walk around with the same look and design all the time. It's in the vehicles, it's in our home, it's everywhere. So we feel that art, visual art, but all the arts are as essential to life as blood is to the body. This body of work um, has two stories. One is that um, my ultimate goal is to create one million dots. And so I believe that on July 31st, 2024, I will have created one million dots. And that's the title of my portion of the collection, one million dots. Matter of fact, it even started with a conversation with a dot, but that's another story. I won't talk about that now, but I believe that um, a dot represents again, those little things. But it, you know, in many ways, it represents a starting point. And so I wanted to just take dots and use them to convey ideas within my work. It's been done before, it's nothing new. It, it, it happened as early as the Impressionistic movement within history during the 1900s. But um, it's always been something that's been a part of my work, um, you know. And so about five years ago, I made it a more deliberate part, and in my mind, I started counting the dots back then.
this. I've been in this area. I've never lived more than 50 miles uh, from where I grew up, and I'm proud of that. Uh, I grew up in Batesburg, uh, Leesville, uh, South Carolina. In the 70s, I had a chance to attend South Carolina State College at that time, but South Carolina State University, where I was able to earn a bachelor's in art education. And so um, South Carolina always had a, a powerful place in everything that I, I, I tried to do. Um, I think if I had not studied art, I may have studied a little bit of history because I'm very fond of, you know, of, of just how we build those foundations to get to where we are now. And I think art allows you to do that. And if you look back through history, you know, let's say 5,000 years from now, you know, people aren't gonna remember a lot of things, but uh, you know, in most cases, they go back in those little things that remind us of what we've done and where we've been. In a lot of, in a lot of cases, it's the arts. It's the music that was written, the performances, and, and also the visual evidence. I keep repeating myself and saying how fortunate I feel because I was listening to a show on the radio coming here uh, this afternoon and it talked about this painting that was discovered by this uh, female artist uh, over in France. And um, they were talking about the process of restoration and everything. And then they, 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 the work, uh, now she's, we're talking early 1900s, so she's long, you know, gone. But uh, her art, is her legacy and it's still here for people to study and just find out about her time period but a little bit about the individual and so um, I don't know what may happen you know five minutes from now or 500 years from now but I know that again uh, I have been a part of creating something that um, I can share creating something that started with an idea in my head, in my brain, and has ended up on the walls here at the Koga Center around some really great images done by other local artists. So um, if I get the big head and can't get out the door uh, in the next few minutes, you'll know why, <laughs> because of the phenomenal work that's here on the walls and the fact that I was a part of it. Thank <laughs> you.